Hi everyone! This is a video tutorial for the oxidation of a primary alcohol using HOCl. So if we take a look at the general setup here, we're going to take our primary alcohol and we're going to react it with sodium hypochlorite and acetic acid. You'll notice there's no HOCl written over that arrow and that's because HOCl is really unstable. So we're going to use these two reagents here in order to make HOCl in situ. When this reaction happens, we're going to form an aldehyde. Let's take a look at the mechanism. So over here we have our primary alcohol. As always, the first step is to activate that OH group so that we're able to react with it later. So the O with its lone pairs will come and attack this hydrogen, breaking this bond and causing those electrons to shift onto the oxygen. Once we've formed our protonated alcohol group, we're ready for an SN2 reaction. So this OCl- will come and it'll attack this carbon, and in the same step that will then kick off this protonated alcohol group. In the next step that we have here, in order to create our aldehyde, some unspecified base will come and attack this hydrogen. These electrons will then shift down to form a double bond between this carbon and this oxygen. The formation of this double bond will precipitate the departure of this chloride group. So what we get is our aldehyde, a protonated base, and our chloride. On a side note, remember this HOCl is formed in solution. So what happens is our hypochlorite group will come and steal a hydrogen off of the acetic acid. And there's the formation of the HOCl, which is then now used in the beginning part of this mechanism.